I already sent out a video that I made last year for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So I hope you get a chance and go back to the video. It's in October of 2021 and I did repost it on Facebook and it is on our YouTube channel. So I encourage you to go and search, get the information that you need to make you a better person. Do what we need to do, right? Faith without work is dead. Let us do what we have to do and then God will do what he has to do for us. Amen? Amen. So as you hear playing in the background is Psalm 121. It's a song that's sang by Brooklyn Tabernacle. We are going to continue from our B-I-B-L-E, our basic instruction before leaving earth. And our scripture is taken from today's Psalm 121. But before we do that, we're just going to open up in prayer. Father God, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. You are the King of Kings, you're the Lord of Lords, you're the conquering light of the tribe of Judah. I pray you may forgive us of our sins that our prayer may not come to you void. Father, we just thank you for being such an awesome God. We thank you for being such a wonderful God. We thank you for being such a magnificent God. We thank you for waking us up this morning in our right minds. We thank you for everything you've done for us, God. We just bless and magnify and glorify your name, Father. I pray that you may help us, O oh God, to have hearts like your son, Jesus Christ, O oh God. I pray that you may allow us to be your hand extended on this earth, Father. Father, I pray for all of those who are sick and those who, who don't know you. I pray that they may come to know you, who to know is life and life more abundantly. I pray that you may bless your children, O oh God. I pray that you may help us to know that you and only you are the only one that can give us the peace that passes all understanding. I pray that you may help us to be still and know that you are God and that you are an awesome God and that you care for us, O oh God. You said in your word, O oh God, if you care about the birds of the air and the lilies of the field, how much more are you going to care for us, O oh God? I pray that you may allow us, O oh God, to just walk in your way, walk in your light and to do your will. I pray that you may order our steps, order our thoughts, order our talk, order our walk. Father, if there's any of your children right now that's feeling down, that's feeling depressed, that's feeling unloved, oh God, I pray right now, oh God, that you may reach out, oh God, and enfold your arms, oh God, around them, oh God. Let them feel your love. Let them feel your presence. Let them understand that you are God and you are our, our Father. And all we need to do, oh God, is ask and it shall be given unto us. Seek and it shall be found. Knock and it shall be opened, oh God, unto us. But we need to open up our hearts, mind, body, and soul, and to let you in, O oh God, and to seek you first and all your righteousness, and you will add everything else unto us, Father. We just thank you for being such an awesome God. We just thank you for your blessings. We just thank you for your loving kindness towards us, O oh God. Bless your children. Heal your children. Provide for your children. Father, I pray, O oh God, that whoever don't know you right now, O oh God, may come to know you, to know as life and life more abundantly, O oh God. We praise you, we lift you up, we magnify you, we glorify you. Father, we just thank you for everything you've done, everything you're doing, and everything you're going to do, oh God. Whoever's feeling pain right now, whoever's feeling loneliness right now, whoever's feeling anxious right now, depressed right now, oh God, dispatch your angels, oh God, from the east, the west, the north, and the south, to encamp around about your children, and give them, oh God, your love. Oh God, we just lift you up, we just magnify you, we glorify you, and we give you all the praise, all the honor, and the glory. In Jesus' name we pray, with much love and thanksgiving, God. Amen, amen, and amen. Glory to your name, God. Glory to your name, we just thank you, God. We continue to honor you and praise you and lift you up. Because without you, we're nothing. Without you, we are nothing. You and millions of people, you are a minority. You and millions of people, me and millions of people, I'm a minority, but me and one God, you and one God, me and one God, you and one God, we are majority. As long as God is in our corner, no one can touch us. No one can hurt us. God opens doors that no man can shut. And he shuts doors that no man can open. Give your heart to God. And he and only he will give you the peace that passes all understanding. Be blessed today. Be blessed. We're going to continue on. Be blessed. Okay? So our scripture passage is taken from Psalm 121. 
It says, I will lift up my eyes to the hills. From which cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord. The Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not allow your foot to be moved. He who keeps, he who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel shall not slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade. The sun shall not smite you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. He shall preserve your soul. The Lord shall preserve your going out and your coming in, even now and forevermore. What a wonderful psalm. What a wonderful scripture. It says, I will lift up my eyes to the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, the Lord who made heaven and earth. The psalm says, I will lift up mine eyes to the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, the Lord who made heaven and earth. He said, he will not suffer your foot to be moved. He that keepeth Israel shall not slumber nor sleep. Do you remember Israel? Do you remember the ch children of Israel? Do you remember Joseph, whose brothers placed in a pit? And then he went to Egypt, and then Potiphar's wife caused him to go to prison, and from prison he went back to the palace because he was able to answer the Pharaoh's dream, and the children of Israel, after Joseph forgave his brother, and all of them came there, Joseph is, Joseph's father, you know, all of those Israelites were in Egypt, and when Pharaoh wouldn't let God's people go, and he brought up Moses, and Moses came to the Pharaoh, and after only 12 plagues did the Pharaoh allow the people to go. And when they were leaving, they were crossing and when they were going over, they came upon the Red Sea. And the people started to murmur and complain. But God was in charge and God gave Moses instructions on what to do. And Moses raised his rod and the Red Sea came apart and the children of Israel were able to go through. While they were going through, the Egyptians pursued them. But what happened to them? They drowned. This scripture passage says, God that keepeth Israel, he is not slumbering, he's not sleeping. So the same God that brought the children of Israel across the Red Sea is the same God that's present here and now. The same God that's at your disposal. The same God that is not slumbering and he's not sleeping. And he's going to see you through whatever it is that you're going through. But all you have to do is to ask him to forgive you of your sins. Ask him to come into your heart. And ask him to order your steps. Order your thoughts. Order your talk. Order your walk. Ask him, Lord, what should I watch? If you're watching something that you know you're not supposed to be watching. Either on the TV. Either on your computer. On your phone. If you're doing anything that you know you're not supposed to do. There are just some places that we don't need to go. Allow God to order steps or thoughts or talk or walk that everything we do may be pleasing unto him. So now that we have spoken about Psalm 121, we're now going to sing it for you. Brooklyn Tabernacle, I'm going to join your choir and sing the song for you. Psalm 121, all of my help cometh from the Lord. I pray that the song may bless you and may God receive all the glory. Amen. Amen. Oh. Uh -huh. 
Come from God. God is our present help in the time of trouble. All we need to do is ask him for help. Hope that song blesses you as much as it blessed me. These beautiful flowers are from these beautiful students. This is Elise and JC. They just finished their six-week preceptorship at our Life is Beautiful MD establishment. Awesome, awesome. They were champions I have more pictures to show you of other students, but these two were champions this semester. Godspeed, Elise. Godspeed, JC. God bless, keep and cover you. In going with Hispanic Heritage Month, I videoed this so long ago, didn't get a chance to show you, but better late than never. These are all the flags that we have and we're parading them in the hallway of our Life is Beautiful MD office. Happy Hispanic Heritage Month and have a blessed and awesome year. Life is Beautiful celebrates with you. And that's one of the reasons I sang that song in Spanish. I uh, hope it blessed you. I hope this program blessed you. God be praised. May God bless, keep and cover you. May he cause his face to shine upon you. May he lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you his peace even now and forevermore. Until we meet again, this is Dr. Cleopatra Gordon Pusey with Life is Beautiful MD and Life is Beautiful Ministries. Take care. Bye-bye. Do small things with great love. Life is beautiful. Blessings always. Take care. Bye-bye. And be your own kind of beautiful. May God bless, keep, and cover you all. Please like, share, and subscribe with your friends. Until we meet again, this is Dr. Cleopatra Gordon-Pusey 
always giving thanks. Life is beautiful. Take care. Bye-bye.